This is a tutorial on how to import Google Earth Terrain into Unity 3D and I'm using version 3.3. I've got a skier here, a model that I imported from Google 3D Warehouse and I've already imported some Google Earth Terrain just as a demo to show you what we're trying to achieve. This terrain I painted with snow, I've painted a sky or created a sky box. Um, I've even done a trail renderer uh, for the ski tracks and uh, even planted a cabin down there somewhere. So this gives you the idea of what you can do with Google Earth. I'll just show you as I play the the game into game mode. Um, the skier actually follows real contours of the mountain, which is pretty cool I think. Even though this is a bit of a hack, it gives you an idea. You can actually explore real Google Earth terrain at a ground level. Um, so I won't uh, bore you with my poor game playing abilities. I will jump straight to Google SketchUp Pro, which is what you need. It's 500 bucks if you buy it or you get eight hours free. And what you can do is a free trial. You can go in and you can start by adding a location. Finding Weimar Peak BC here is, is our local ski hill mountain. Um, you go to about three or four thousand feet above it so you get enough relief, enough elevation and, and enough contours. Hit select region, move it around. I've already kind of centered it on my peak and then grab it and this will plop the data in and as you see it's a flat file but you have to toggle this into a terrain. So toggle terrain and boom there's your mountain. Pretty quick. Now the important thing to do is you have to export it as a 3D model and name it as an FBX file. Uh, FBX is, uh, is an extension that Unity can use so we'll just call this mountain.fbx and it will pull all the little triangles from the contours out uh, into a file. There's almost 6,500 faces or triangles exported. Now you won't get to see any of the coloring or the trees. You have to paint on your own trees or add your own trees and paint on your own snow and cliffs and so on. But this gives you an idea of what you can do. So now I'm back in Unity. I'm just going to create a new scene and I'm going to pull this new asset into my into my Unity 3D. So I'm going to find it, mountain.fbx, import it. I'm importing an asset, fbx file. And what it does is it adds it to your project folder. And you can simply drag it over to your scene view. And there you go. You've got your, you've got your fancy mountain. Um, now, the next thing you have to do, you're not done. You actually have to turn this into a terrain and so what you need to do first is create a terrain. This is, uh, this is what Unity can use um, to interact with your 3D character. So, and in order to add trees to it, you need to create a terrain um, to, uh, to interact or to add assets to and to, um, to use in your game. So, um, you go back to your mesh, so go down to the child level here and you'll see this is a series of triangles. This is your mountain. You need to drag it over to your terrain. Losing the prefab is okay. Um, this, is, this is very important, so your mesh is now inside your terrain. And a key point uh, here is you also need to add this object to terrain JavaScript file. Um, I'll put this in the uh, description of my, my video here, um, but uh, you can also Google it uh, on the Unity community website at Object to Terrain. It's a JavaScript file, so it's a .js. So um, what you need to add this into the editor folder in your project view. This is important. Name a folder editor and then save the Object to Terrain JavaScript in this folder. That way it will add it as a new menu item under terrain. So the next thing to do is to highlight the mesh under your terrain parent. Go to terrain and hit object to terrain and this will convert this mesh into actual terrain down below. So what you can do 
is now that you've got this beautiful mountain, you can actually get rid of the smaller version here, and now you've got an actual terrain to play with. And so it's, um, yeah, it's quite a neat thing here. So now that you've got a terrain, you can you can do some things like place some trees on it, um, add a tree, choose choose some trees, and then you can adjust the brush size, the tree density, and you can go ahead and you can paint some trees around your mountainside, and possibilities are endless here um, painting cliffs and um, rocks and all sorts of things um, now you can add a model and uh, and you can manipulate um, your terrain the other thing to to uh, note here is that uh, you do need to add uh, a train collider uh, so that things don't fall through the mesh um, and so this is this is also important. Um, there's other things you can do. You can add snow. You can add. Uh, you need to add a light. Um, directional light, for example, is always a good idea to add a directional light. Um, and make sure it's in the right position here. Rotate it around. You can you can fine tune this, but. This gives you a sense of uh, basically how to play with uh, your lighting and, and your terrain. Hope this has been helpful.